Hello everybody, this is Lady Random and welcome to Hungry Lamu, which I think is a game about a llama and you need to feed it to help fill up its stomach, uh, I think. Anyway, if you're not subbed, you should totally sub and hit the bell notifications for all notifications because I have sharp fangs and claws and I'm not afraid to use them. Plus, you should totally join the Lady Random fandom because it's the best. And with that said, let's get started. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hello, Lamu. I mean, this is supposed to be like a llama, right? You had a good nap, didn't you? Oh dear, it looks like somebody's hungry. Those are some scary sound effects. Let's go find some food for that big stomach of yours, Lamu. Okay, so it looks like everything's hand-drawn. That's cute. All right, so do we want some garbage? Lamu wants some garbage? Lamu's favorite book. If only Lamu could still read. Wait, why can't Lamu read anymore? That's weird. Okay. What? Okay. Ugh. All right, so... Okay. Isn't it a beautiful day, Lamu? Let's find some cherries to put in that stomach of yours. Obje objective, eat three cherries. What is this, like a Kirby-type whore? Okay, those aren't cherries. Oh my god. <laughs> that music is terrible. Okay, that's better. There aren't any cherries beyond this point. But these aren't cherries, these are blueberries. Cherries are red. Okay. I guess we're eating some blue cherries. <laughs> okay. Yum! Weren't those cherries delicious? But Lamu is still hungry. Cherries are not enough for Lamu's stomach. Oh, what's that? Well, if it isn't a cute little banana. Lamu loves fruits. I'm sure this banana wouldn't mind helping Lamu. Um, that banana looks like a sentient creature. Just saying. Let's go meet this banana. A banana, Lamu. That means Lamu's gonna eat the banana, right? Lamu likes bananas, apparently. Oh no, don't, don't eat. No, talk to banana. Lamu's gonna eat it. Hello, little banana. Uh oh. The banana does not like Lamu. Oh dear, looks like I was wrong. The banana is very selfish and doesn't want to help Lamu. We'll need to make the banana sleep so that Lamu can have a delicious meal. I need something hard. Oh my gosh, am I gonna... Oh my... Really? <sighs> the banana won't let Lamu pass. Take rock. This is terrible. I hate this. Hit the banana. Eat the banana. <sighs> what a hearty meal. I'm sure the banana didn't mind. Uh, yeah, okay. Despite its sour attitude, it's very it tasted very sweet. However, there's still some space in Lamu's big stomach. Uh -huh. Oh, what's that, Lamu? It's a bunch of fruit friends. We don't see a lot of them around here. Their fruit should be enough to fill up Lamu's stomach. Let's go say hi to them, Lamu. Okay, so I don't like the narrator, which is totally not me, and I don't like Lamu. A weird game. Eat three fruit friends. Okay. Uh oh, they're running. They, they know they're smart. They know to run from Lamu. Lamu sucks. Looks like they want to play a game. Just like the other fruit friends we met in the past. How fun. Come on, Lamu. Let's find our new fr fruit friends so we can uh, have some of their delicious fruits. Uh, do, do I pick up the axe? Yeah, let's take the axe because apparently, you know, it's just sitting there. So why not, right? I see you. Need something stinging? 
Okay. All right. Take the bee nest. How come the bees aren't stinging Lamu? Just wondering. Shouldn't they be stinging Lamu? Because Lamu totally deserves to be stung. Whatever. Okay. I'm sorry, fruit friend. Okay, fine apple. Oh. Ouch, the bees stung me everywhere. Mm -hmm. Looks like I've got to get be care. I got to be careful next time. Mm -hmm. Have my apple. You deserve it. Okay, eat <sighs> apple. Lovely. Okay. That's disturbing. Need something hot. Ah, there we go. I like how there's just a random branch on fire sitting out in the middle of nowhere. All right. Sorry, buddy. Light the bush. Okay. Find pear. That's hot, 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 hot. Oh, geez. Couldn't you try something less burning? Well, I hope you like burn pear because it's all yours. Okay, we just ate the pear. All right, well, let's go get the axe. I'm assuming the last one's in the tree. Where are you? You're wasting my time here. There's a truck. Okay, let's just smash the car. Because why not? Because Longwood's already a piece of crap, so... Duh. Oh boy, where is the other fruit friend? Where are you? Lamu is hungry. What a very weird... Ah, there you are. Hi, buddy. Swing axe. Hello, Mr. Orange. Mm -hmm. Wow, that was a high fall. Mm -hmm. Did you know oranges give you tons of energy? Mm-hmm. Have mine. Maybe next time you'll be able to climb a tree, too. Eat the orange. Yum, yum, yum. Weren't you? Your fruit friend's just delicious, Lamu? What a great day. Playing with friends, eating delicious fruits, and having such fun. Today was a marvelous day, wasn't it, Lamu? Oh? What's that, Lamu? You're still hungry. Bad Lamu. Bad. What the heck? What the heck? It sounded like Tasha. <sighs> I told him not to make so much ruckus. Let's see what they're up to. Oh, oh, find the campsite. Okay, so are we playing as one of the campers? And Lamu's actually a monster? After flashlight, okay. So Lamu's actually probably some um, monster. What a not the campsite isn't this way. All right, what a very this is not what I thought it was. All right, let's look at the map. Legend Forest Park Forest Trail elevation campsite Lamu for Forest Park map uh, to bring camping stuff insect repellent uh, meet at 12 a.m. challenge. Do not go beyond here. Apparently there's a cursed cave. Park car here. Follow trail. <gasps> they're pro they're not gonna escape. I destroyed the car. Ah! Oh! I wonder if there's a different ending because I didn't uh, destroy the car. P area. Leon is hot. A poo poo head. Keep an eye on Mochi. Oh, Mochi was the banana. I don't even know where I am honestly, but whatever. Okay. So this is, well, maybe if the map's not very helpful, it doesn't tell me which way I'm, um, facing. Of course, our creepy friends aren't going to be here. Need to interact. Where did they all go? Where's Mochi? Mochi, where are you, girl? She couldn't have run off too far. Yeah, Lamu was just too hungry. Oh, 
don't know. Shit, I don't think she ran off this way. Okay. So, did know she goes? I think she was. I guess we'll follow this path. Doesn't look like much of a path. Oh no, there's Mochi, no! Mochi! That's sad. Mochi? What the heck? Who did this? Poor girl. Whichever one of you jerks did this, this is messed up. Tasha Kenlian, where the heck are you? Guys, oh, there's four friends, and... So, because... Okay, because I smashed the car, that means uh, this person's not gonna get away. So, if I want, I think, to get the good ending... I, I don't know if there's more than one ending. I'm gonna assume there is. In order to get the good ending, you know, we're gonna have to run to the car. If the car is not working, we we're gonna... Well, I'm just gonna get this character. Not that that's a good ending, but, you know. I mean, I guess <laughs> they're not going to escape because I destroyed the car. I wonder if there's any way to avoid killing poor Mochi and the, um, the friends. Yeah, Lon, well, I hear you, you evil m m monster Lon, whatever the heck you are. What a weird game. the heck? <gasps> it's the bush that's on fire. No, it's one of her friends. No, their head is missing and they're on they're on fire. No. <laughs> Holy crap. I don't even recognize him. He's burnt to a crisp. What the heck is going on? Okay, so. That means the other friend was south. Frickin' screw you, Lamu. I hear you. What the heck? What's that? Am I seeing things? I swear I'm seeing things. I could be. No, oh, there's the camps. <laughs> this, it is really isn't scary. It's just derpy. You're not scary, Lomu. Even if you do eat this idiot character, I, you're not scary. <laughs> so is Lomu like Slenderman or something? I saw you, Lomu. <laughs> Alright, where's the friend? There we go. Oh no, Tasha! She must have twisted her leg in the tree. What the heck did this to her? All right. Let's go find the last friend who I think was like northwest of the campsite. I mean, I'm gonna try to find it. Why do my headless friends have to be so hard to find? Oh my gosh, buzz off, Lama, you suck. Oh, no, there's Mochi. Oh, man. Okay, this is kind of dumb. Mamu, are you drunk? You seem like you're drunk. Go home. Go home, you stupid drunk llama. Yeah, here's okay. Here's the rocks. I'm gonna be sick. Why are there so many bees? Who did this to you, Ken? I have to get out of here. I need to get to the car and accept. Um, we're screwed because <laughs> I just drove the car with Lamu. Whoopsie. Oh no, it's red. Oh no. Oh no, car got destroyed. Oh no. 
Well, I'm Forest Park. The cars are here, dude. The car is busted. Who the heck is doing this? <laughs> that was. <laughs> Ending two out of three. Full course be okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, so there are more endings. Okay, I'm gonna have to go ahead and get those. Yeah, I see behind the car, yay hole. Okay. We're gonna crash into Lamu and get the other ending, right? I'm just gonna ward. This character's not gonna survive regardless, probably. <laughs> really? Ending one out of three. Roadkill. Tragedy, tragedy, <laughs> tragedy strikes in the infamous Lamu Forest Park. What was supposed to be a peaceful camping trip for four friends turned into a devastating blood bloodbath. Tragedy strikes in the infamous Lamu Forest Park. What was supposed to be a peaceful camping trip of four friends turned into a devastating bloodbath. Tasha Neal, 20. Kevin, Ken Abel, 20. Leon Dean, 20. And Blink. Redacted. We're camping in the Lamu Forest Park on the night of February 19th. The young adults just graduated and we're looking to have a getaway out in the wild to unwind and relax. That's when tragedy occurred. Tasha, Ken, and Leon were brutally murdered and decapitated in the middle of the night, leaving Blank to be the lone survivor of the devastating incident. So, oh, they did survive? What? The Lamu Forest Park has been infamous due to its collection of known murderers to those who enter the park. Every murder involved within the park has been through decapitation by unknown means, though forensics have concluded that bite marks present on the deceased bodies resemble that of human teeth. Uh, the mystery of the Lamu killer has been solved due to recent developments. Though authorities have decided to withhold the information of details about said killer, they assure the public that it will no longer cause any harm to any citizens. A redacted has refused to participate in any interviews, understandably due to their traumatizing experience. Our deepest condolences to the family of Tasha, Ken, and Leon. The public may rest easy knowing the Lamu killer has been apprehended. Okay. So it's a person? Okay. Well, let's get try to get the last ending. Okay, I'm guessing for the last ending we have to go to the Lamu's cave. So, I need to find that real quick. Oh boy, looks like I found Lamu's cave. Okay. Well, let's go inside and take a look. Is this the cursed cave that they keep talking about? Shoot, better sh uh, better safe in there than out here. I don't know about that, dude. Oh boy, lots of skulls. Do you not have anything to say about this? Okay, apparently not. You're not very smart. Um, some more skulls. Oh, look. It's Lamu's favorite book. Let's see, what do we got here? Miss Mum, Evil. Can't really read that very well. Only fruit, only fruit. All right. The llama is hungry. A children's book? Okay. Um, a short story by Kulu. Lamu is hungry. This book belongs to Monster. Mom. Okay. It's a new day today. Everyone's waking up. Lama sees the uh, Lama sees the sunshine. And wakes up with a big yawn. It's a daily routine for this young animal to wake up well rested at the break of dawn. The heck is that like a birthday hat cap or something? Rumble, rumble. Uh, Lama's stomach growls. Looks like Lama's hungry for some fresh food. Oh dear me, that's the sign to go. Lama said, "Time for some breakfast." I sure hope it's good. Um. Miss home. Okay, so whoever this was went crazy. Llama leaves his home, whistling as he walks, thinking of the adventure to find his meal. Tweet, tweet, toot, 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 tweet, he whistles gleefully. Overwhelming euphoria is what he truly feels. Okay, that's where one of the torn up pages is. Burp, oh my, how rude of me, Llama says. What a delicious fruit, truly tasty. Llama pats himself satisfied with his feast. Now he has had to head home. Best not to be lazy. Okay, no more home. Run away. Uh-oh. I guess they tried to kill him. Okay. Llama walks back home, belly very full. He reaches his home just when the moon rose. He entered his, uh, the door with a smile on his face, but what he saw next made him strike a pose. 
Dr. Bronze exposed as a fraud. Dr. Eric Bronze, well known for his studies on the interspecies genetics fusion, has recently been exposed for fraud as his most recent studies and findings were proven to be falsified. On the 15th of April, Dr. Bronze revealed his findings of human animal genetic fusion, allowing scientists to retrieve specific DNA from animals and place it in the human body, allowing humans to have traits that were exclusive to animals. With this groundbreaking discovery, it was envisioned that cures to incurable diseases could be reduced. The discovery sounded too good to be true, which in this case, unfortunately, I guess it was upon further, further evaluations. Uh, his studies were. So basically, he's a fraud. All right. All your fault. I did not want any more. After a long day and a fun time, Lama headed to bed. He tucked himself in with his warm blanket. He thought to himself, what a fun day. Reminiscing about tomorrow's banquet. The end. Still hungry. What the heck is going on? Lama is herbivore, which means he only eats fruits, meat of any kind. Makes his, him go yuck. If Lama wants to have a hearty meal, he needs to go find some fruits, not some dead duck. Miss Mom, um, surprise. Today's Lama's birthday. Does Mom and Dad make him a de delicious fruitcake? Oh my, Mom and Dad, what a nice surprise. Lama exclaimed, Lama exclaimed, I didn't know you both could bake. So Dad is evil, but Miss Mom, but he killed both. So basically, Lama is a human hybrid llama experiment. Hi there. You're freaky. I don't like you. Can I? What the heck? It's so goofy. Uh, ending three. Three out of three. Old stories. Murder at Bronze Residence. October 23rd, 1977. At around uh, 2100 hours, loud noises were heard within the Bronze Residences. Concerned neighbors immediately dialed for emergency services to inspect the concerning incident. What authorities found in the ho a lovely home was absolutely horrifying. The Bronze family was well established within their friendly neighborhood. Uh, within their well liked by their neighbors and even having occasional get togethers. Eric Bronze 52, Tina Bronze 51 and Redacted were a happy family of three. Okay. Besides Dr. Eric's Eric Bronze's exposure of fraudulent scientific findings six months ago, the family lived with no grudges against any other people and minded their own business. It has come to a shock that on Saturday night, Eric, Dr. Eric and Tina Bronze were found brutally murdered in their own home with Blank's body missing from the terrifying crime scene. Dr. Eric and Tina Bronze's heads were detached from their bodies, laid across the floor, nowhere near their necks. The living room was a mess, with furniture thrown about, flipped over. Uh, the graphic scene immediately triggered authorities to conduct a thorough investigation on the gruesome incident. Families are advised to stay indoors and lock away any form of and, and lock any form of entry into the residential buildings for the time being. The authorities ensure the, the public that their everything will be handled properly and swiftly. A search party has been conducted by the authorities to look for the young uh, redacted dead or alive. It is still unknown who or what could have committed this horrendous act. Although we are afraid, it is strongly advised to follow the authorities orders in order to maintain not only our safety, but our loved ones as well. We can only hope that the culprit will be apprehended soon. Our deepest condolences to extended family of Dr. Eric and Tina Bronze. This was truly an unfortunate and undeserved incident. If you find redacted or any resemblance of the young child, please report it to the authorities immediately. Okay. So he did experiments. So either, either he did experiments on his kid and the kid thought he was a llama or he fused with the kid. I'm not entirely sure. Either the kid went crazy and he turned into Lamu or the dude created Lamu. I'm not sure. And then he just ended up murdering everything that he could. <laughs> what a weird game. Uh, yeah, I probably got something wrong about this. I probably overlooked something. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.